Hello everyone, and welcome back to Neoburg. Today, we are putting our first trains onto these massive circular lines. So, here are our Eurojules. Um, as you can see, I've got a tank car here. <laughs> um, we've got e one of each um, cargo type. So, we've got tank cars, gondolas, flat safe flat car with side stakes and um, the box cars all set up and ready to go they're just rolling onto the um, lines as we speak here as you can see they're extremely long uh, this one is 502 meters um, but it does have a massive maximum speed of 99 miles an hour um, so hopefully they will get up to that speed. Um, they are extremely expensive each each year, but they're quite low emissions, and they're also um, able to take 580 cargo. Um, so 580 of any fuel, uh, oil, crude oil, um, that sort of thing. So we've got each of those coming onto the state onto the um, lines now um, this one's a little bit shorter because the gondola line the gondola vehicles are actually quite uh, compact which is a blessing in disguise um, so those are rolling onto those lines currently um, so while those are uh, making their way through we've also uh, put in the stops all the way through the track so um, basically I've between episodes gone through and put all of these on because there are so many and I didn't want you to have to sit through it all um, because it's just it's way too much. It's way too much um, to have those coming through so uh, I've gone through and, and sorted those out straight away. So these are starting to roll through we've also put our trains onto the um various boxcar and uh, other lines here so those are working their way through you can see we've started to already get um machines come onto this uh train platform so uh the um boxcar train is going to be quite busy going backwards and forwards here uh, getting tr getting those machines to where they need to go um, so yeah things are starting to roll out and quite frankly it's a long time in the making so I'm very happy to see it all com coming together um, one thing I will say is that we need to put in uh, the other train lines on this side so we'll probably be coming through down to this section um, and maybe connecting up um, these uh, crude oil oil re refinery and uh, fuel refinery together um, it's not necessarily 100% whether that's going to happen um, it really depends what what happens down here with Alfred so for now we're just going to focus on this side of things and hopefully get the um, get these particular lines in um, if we need to we can always build a uh, road line out this way to connect these up if that's what we need um, but my main concern is to get these all connected up uh, today. So I'm going to uh, get on and put those in. So we're going to need a train line here. And we want it to stay flat. Considering it goes through here quite evenly and we so almost have this going through right where we want it to uh, for the tunnel. I may just lower this slightly. Let's just lower it even more. There we go. Oh, actually, that's all the way down. 
Oh, I don't know. Let's give that a try. And then we'll be taking this one and pretty much doing a similar thing with it. In fact, we could probably copy this line through. So let's give that a try. So this line was already avoiding everything here as it was, so might as well try and copy that, emulate it. So if we take that out, Right, so if we now plug these in together, we now have a way through here. do the stops all together running through this way uh, we can connect these back up so that to there and that to there So then we'll have a stop there going in to the station. And then what we can do on this side is hook in the um, machines factory quite easily. So if we wanted to, we could potentially use a um, road line between here and here. Um, I'm probably going to a look at the potential of having a, a through line here and then a second stop there um, but that's for way off in the future once this slot's uh, changed a little bit uh, as you can see we've got quite a, a drop here so we could potentially do a um, bridge at that point um, but yeah, for now, this is just connecting in uh, here. So if we connect into this one. will then connect in the fuel um, refinery to the rest of it and what we can actually do is use uh, this same line to just drop off cargo down here um, in the uh, shape of uh, coal and ore and then <clears throat> we don't need to do separate lines out to these two uh, factories which would be quite wasteful uh, in my opinion um, so that would be this side sorted out uh, we just need to I mean this one brings it down to here so if we were to change this over and just deliver at this point would these reach there yeah, they 
do. So we could put a, a stop here, which these then deliver to. Um, but for now, let's focus on the other side. So we've got our train line to go through this area. And I'm thinking that we will uh, change up um, the Alford connection a fair bit. So that will entail a change here. Uh, what we do with it though, because we've got these bits here. Yeah, I think a change similar to the Bergamarsh connection. So bring the um, connection for Alfred down here rather than having it go into the stop right next to the city and then we'll have the cargo routes go from this point out to where they need to go. So if we pop these in, oh, put that on the wrong side. Okay. So we'll need to uh, redraw these roads inevitably. Um, but what I'd really like to do is keep this underneath uh, connecting in down here. So if we were to remove this lot, go underneath to this point. So if we just back a little bit, gives us more space to put in this track. I will say this, we don't necessarily want it to go too deep. So maybe something like this through this area, staying flat so it's tunneled all the way. That would work really quite well. So if we just delete this back a little bit, we can then take this, that's from the wrong point, take this and plug it into, in fact it's probably best to do it before the apex of this curve. So there, I would say. Plug that into here. Hopefully this will stay in a tunnel, which it is. And we'll have it run straight through down to there. And then that will simply connect in here. And this will resume the duties of that station at the centre of the um, city. So we just need to put in some stops. Running through this area. 
good thing about it being in a tunnel is we don't have to worry about the emissions and we don't have to worry about it affecting any other traffic working its way through. So we'll leave it to that point. There we go. Um, so now we have the inner line to uh, use for the actual cargo in this section of the map. So I'm just going to put these in, descending down steadily, and then we'll do the same on the other side, put a large one in, and have them work their way down. until we're down to the smallest connections there. So hopefully that will allow a decent amount of um, cargo to come through to here. Uh, we just need to put that up to here. So remove that one, put in new station there, use number three. And that's fine. So we'll need to rework this a little bit because ultimately um, this stuff's not going to be going through as it is. Um, so if we change this out a little bit. here which will connect in down this way and then we need a route to go across the top here So if we just put a road here, this should easily connect to the um, forest that we have here. And in a matter of fact, we could probably connect it through this way. This way. And then here 
we're going to need to put in a a bit of a tree line through so we can do that quite easily here First off, let's remove these roads out, and then we can take these back, and we might as well clean this up a little bit. So we would need a train line into a train stop here. It's probably about there. We can put a connections either side quite easily. And we can actually upgrade this road through. So we can upgrade this to one of these with this and this here and then that allows a lot more traffic to go through this um, this way uh, we need signals either side of this So we most probably do a road out this way. So what I'll do <coughs> is bridge here, but we will delete back the segments that we don't want to be bridge. And then that should create quite a nice little connection through that way. So we're going to have a number of trains coming up this way, and they'll be connecting in here. In fact, we could probably do a two lane there. We don't want like 
Thanks. So then that actually connects into this um, crude oil automatically, which is good. Although we've got a train here. Could we turn it around? No problems. Nice. So we've taken out this train line. We need to move these over. How many are there for Berglum, uh, for Alfred? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Wow. Um, that's quite a few. Uh, so, where are they? Going to. There, 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 there. So we probably want like one coming through this way to number here. Um, and then the rest of them would be going out in this direction to the various um, stops. So we're going to need to, might as well keep that there because these are the stops that we're gonna have to change out. Also, we can call this one the uh, Alfred Cargo Terminal. Is that what we called the other one? Burgle Marsh Cargo Terminal. Perfect. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't quite connect into this, but that's absolutely fine. We can um, probably put in a stop somewhere along and connect it here. So if we take one of these So now this is connected in down here. So we have a, a private uh, pu public transport and also our um, cargo coming into the same spot, <laughs> which is a little bit ironic, but um, it should be absolutely fine. Um, one thing that we could potentially do is upgrade this road here. So then it is a through route to here um, possibly although I think I won't on this occasion um, right so we've got our station there we probably have or it would probably be worthwhile putting in a station up to Coulston because Coulston is growing it's at 982 and supplies wise it's actually receiving most of its stuff but it could do with a little bit more for example it's got about half of the food that it needs it needs about another 20 um, construction materials maybe about 80 um, goods and then 40 more uh, fuel so we could probably get more stuff up to Coulsdon if we um, put a connection in here so that line would probably go up through the mountains to this point um, and actually around here is probably the best spot for it because it's quite far away from the uh, residential zone so that's quite good from an emissions standpoint um, we just have to think about our... So we could probably just bring this down by a um, truck. We don't really need 
anything more than that to bring down one um, coal mine's worth of uh, material. And in fact, we could probably just connect it in over the top of this lot here rather than connecting it in straight to the um, main road here. So what we would need is uh, stop like this. The next set on that side. In fact, let's let's remove that. And we can put this road in a little bit better than how it is currently in. And then wasn't there like seven connections on this one? Two, four, six, seven. Yeah. I don't know whether all of those are really needed. Um, for example, these two overlap this one. So we could get rid of this one. As far as I'm concerned. It's a good opportunity to reduce waste. And hopefully that will be a lot more efficient then. So um, that's down to six. So we will need uh, one, two, three, four, five. Six. We won't need that. Might as well just remove that to be fair. some large buildings to ensure that cargo isn't lost. Maybe just a small one there. <laughs> it's pretty much the same building, isn't it? No, it's not. It's really not. <laughs> um, I thought it was literally from here. It just looks like the same building, but it's not. Uh, it's sort of just scaled up, though. A scaled up version of it. Um, so if we put the entrances in this side... Put the exits on this side. And then we can do a road. Just have to swap these over. And in fact, we can continue this road through. So if we take this out straight, continue that up to that point. Do a curved one into here. And then we just need these to connect in. I 
this will work, but we can try it. There we go. Cool. So we've now got this set up um, to accept the uh, cargo stops from over here. So if we just move these over. We want Alfred lines. So connect these in. Have them only pick up these things. Fill up for 30 seconds. Uh, we might as well leave them for three minutes, see how they go. Don't need to worry about that now. Fill up. Connect those all in. Oh, I did this the wrong way around, but never mind. Finally, this one. So this one's the one that we want on number two and number one. Let's just swap that around, then hopefully it'll go out that way and it does good. So we'll put these on number 11 and 12. Number nine. And ten, number seven, and eight, number five, and six, and then what else? What was the other line on? Number thirty three. So we need that to go to number three and number four. Cool. So this is Alfred's cargo distribution center. Hopefully that should work really well. Um, we might put in some markers to have them come in this way, but truth be told, whichever way is easiest for it, it's absolutely fine by me. Um, so we would have this coming in here. just put a stop in the middle so this would need to be a flat car 
a tank car and a box car to take all of the stuff from here. Um, we're going to need to put in a stop here, which this line can then become. And tripital, I feel like we should just ah. this in here so they're just picking up crude oil and then dropping it off here although ironically they don't use the exit that we provided them similarly to the other one So never mind, we'll have to put that in manually. And then it uses it as a big loop, which is good. Uh, we removed the road depot, didn't we? So we can put that back in here. Hopefully this will just have the name Alfred Road Depot. Yes, it does. We could even put the tram depot here, which would be a little bit neater. We just then have to have tram lines through here, which is absolutely fine. So we can remove that one, remove out that. Uh, this would be Alfred Tram Depot 1. There's a train depot. Alfred Train Depot. Oh, is it these ones? Ah, oh, it must be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Uh, right, what lines are causing issues? This one's causing issues. Uh, truth be told, we don't really need it at this point. Because hopefully the train lines will be doing the heavy lift in here, but in the interest of continuity, I will add one more stop here. So this can go on the end here at number 13. We we'll want those to fill up on, I'll tell you what, you can use number 12 as an extra. Um, we want you to fill up on blocks. So let's see how that does. Where's that line going? It's interesting, it comes through this way. Huh. Cool. Okay. Would have thought it would come up this way, but that's absolutely fine. If it wants to go the other way, that's absolutely no problem. Um, ironically, it's the only one that comes up here, up this road. <laughs> but hey-ho. Um, right, so we've moved everything over from this terminal. This no longer makes sense. Uh, we could put a stop in down here so that it doesn't actually do that anymore. So at number five, we just put a stop. Down here. That can effectively replace it. Very interesting line going backwards and forwards. So we just need to take out this 
and actually it provides a massive amount of extra real estate for Alfred to build into now. So I think we should probably alter the roads a little bit to um, take this into account. So if we connect those two, push this back out. Uh, we could have this connection straight out to here, which would be really nice. Although we do want to put in a cargo terminal here connected into Burglar Marsh. So before I make any changes here, I want to make sure that the um, Burglar Marsh connection can go in, which shouldn't be too tricky. Um, pretty much just want it to connect in something like this. Yeah. So that should be close enough to the other train stations to, uh, sorry, the other uh, factories here to be able to collect. So if we put stops along here, and then what we'll do is we will continue this bridge through. bridges. That might be interesting. And then we connect in there. <laughs> so, Alfred Bridge is <laughs> a bit overkill, but it, it works. Um, And then we want the train lines to run underneath the bridge, like so. And in fact, we can extend this out a little bit. So then we can bring this road through. Probably connect it in somewhere on this side. Maybe have this become a through road. Connect it up there. So we would just need this to cross over. to connect in down here. Ooh. We literally just want it to tunnel through here. So if we take that up to there. That should then allow a line through, uh, which would be the same line that this one is because it's all a tank car. Um, we just need to put in some signals here. And then probably a 
section of track here that we would use for a crossover. Something like that. So that will make for a very interesting connection there. Um, the main issue with this line here is this actual farm. Let's just take that out. And then hopefully we can put in a road here, which if we want to, we can upgrade. Maybe like this. And if we just delete that back a little bit, we can put that into there. And connect that up into here. Pop that in there. And then that road through will connect in down here. Hopefully we might be able to actually make this... No, it's too close to the factory. Well, that's a bit of a shame, but it's not unexpected. So if we just take that out for a second. What on earth is this? What, what has Transport Fever done? Oh my giddy on. Um, yeah, this is a monstrosity here. Let's just take this road out. And then we can put it back in. And this lot. A little bit better. Um, hopefully at least. Maybe even have this road connect in down here a bit more. So what we would need is electric. And then Take this bit out. Ah, we need to take this further up. Do a road through. Similar to this road that we were going to do. Um, through to there. We don't want bus lanes, we want electric. And we will connect it in down here. In fact, let's take this further back. 
and then we can do a road off this way. in here and then we literally just connect this through I think this is the main cause of some of the issues so if we just take this bit out do a through road I literally just want to keep it straight. That's the only reason for going straight through. Um, and actually we'll do some curves here. we can realign this a little bit and then all of a sudden it's a bit better than it was before uh, we don't need that because with these cargo lines they shouldn't really be affecting the um, public transport through that area So we just need to do a connection through here. So if we connect these two together, that will connect there. And then if we potentially just connect this through, This will be a pretty horrible junction, but <laughs> it should be fine, hopefully. Um, so 
what I would like to do is come through at this point. Bridge pillar collision issue. That's absolutely fine. What if we raise it a little bit so it's just one br bridge through? In fact, hang on. We just need this to be high enough to go through without that bit. Like that. And then if we did a road here, which uses this through to there. Then we could connect this up here. with the bridge pillar collision there. Uh, so we just need to that then those should be able to go through without an issue and then we can oh, I shouldn't have done that I should have done it from this end never mind let's just pop that back in for a second So I think what we'll do is have these bus lanes, maybe a, no, it doesn't make sense, does it? Just one of these and then have that connect in there. And then we just need to put these tracks back in. Fingers crossed, it will work fine. Or it might cause me a little bit of grief. Why is it not? Hmm. Okay. Let's take this further back. together. No. It's annoying because we can't even force it to be a bridge. Ah. Hmm. Um. Okay. Take this further back. Let's delete that up to there. So if we raise that a little bit there. That should clean that all up. So we would need these 
these to come through like so. These to come through like so. And then this to connect in here. Sweet. Okay. Uh, let's just try and flatten this out a little bit. So if we take that road. And then we don't want tram lines here or here. And we don't want bus lanes here. Yeah, that should be sorted, I think, like that. So this one's still causing issues. Ah, yeah, because we removed this. That's absolutely fine. We can put that back in. Uh, that's apparently a different road now. So that's back in. This one's got an issue. It can't connect here. Well, that's absolutely fine because we can put that back in. We don't want this tram. This one's got an issue. Because it can't go here. Ah, that might be more of an issue. We'll have to move that here, I think. Uh, which one's crossing over there? Is that one? So instead of number seven there, go there. There we go. And that line goes around that way. That's absolutely fine. Sweet. That's fine. Um, so we just want that to be a different terminal. And then we're going to do a road out this way, aren't we? So if we take this road, terminal issue. But that will go in perfectly fine. We just don't want this to actually be a um, tram line. It doesn't have to be a tram line this far. We just need it to be a tram line to this point, which is where this road will then link into it. Something like this. So 
So then we're doing a road here which comes out and we're doing a connection through from that to there. Keep tram track. Uh going to connect these in. Do we need to connect them in more aptly? tram tracks, we might as well make this tram tracks as well, and that bit, that bit there. And it would actually make more sense to have this continue through as this bit, because this is a much bigger road. working its way through. Let's just take that bit off there. Potentially bring this through here. sure that these are set up correctly. That definitely needs to be <laughs> one of them. Um, Right, okay, so we have another connection through for, it's kind of less direct, but it is another connection through for um, these. And we may well do out this way. Something like that. It's a bit funky, but it'll do. <laughs> right. So the main thing to sort out is to get these lines set up. 
So these are our Berg the Marsh lines here, I mean. So we're going to need a tank car going through down to here. then back through so this will be cargo rail tank car number two I think burglar marsh Let's just double check that is definitely number two because I don't think I've called them tank cars before. We got Nairsborough here, Cargo Road Nairsborough. Uh, that one would be. I must have removed one of these somewhere 15, 16, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24, 25, 26. Thirty four. In fact, make it thirty five and then we'll change Alfred's to number thirty four. There we go. So that will be a tank car line, just going backwards and forwards, and then we'll need a line from here on number two. Can also use number one. Let's go down here. We might as well use number two and then it splits where the cargo goes. So this would be a colon or line. Yep. Cool, so that should be these ones set up now. Um, we just need to put in a depot, which we can do down here. And if we have that cross over, we can make that a double slip. We could put in a non one way stop. And then we can get a series with tank cars until it goes down to mediocre. That will go on to that line. And then a series with gondolas. And that will go on to this other line. Let's see cargo, rail, gondola, uh, number two, Berg, Blair, Marsh. Okay. So hopefully. This will now start to get a little bit of work going to it because we'll have crude oil from this one going to here and then oil from this one going back to there um, and oil from this one coming down to here. In fact, it will all become a little bit of a mixture, but that's absolutely fine. Um, because to be honest with you, I think that's Burglar Marsh set up now. Um, we do have this one over here. I want to bring a, a line down from this side. So to get some use out of this one. We also have other things around here that we need to connect into this one. So we will make full use of that. 
uh, in another episode. Um, it'd be worthwhile knowing whether any of the circular lines are being used. No, they aren't. Not just yet. And to be fair, there's no reason why this can't work once we've connected this all in. Um, but I think I'm going to leave it here. We've done a massive amount of changes to Alfred, especially around this area. Um, in fact, do we have any that are missing? No. Why is there these? They're just being, they're just moving, they're just going, aren't they? That's absolutely fine then. Um, but yeah, we've, we've done a fair amount to, uh, you know, connect these all in. Um, I may well just connect that up there and then take that down and put this connection in there because I bet that's changed things up for that a little bit. No, it hasn't. Okay, that's fine. I mean, to be fair, do we still need this dropping off? Because it would have been picking up from here anyway, using the train line. We just need to change this, actually. There we go. Change that up a bit. And I doubt we'll need that many vehicles. I might just leave them on there for now. Uh, is this running? Efficiently. I feel like it should be the other way around. So instead of stop number six, go to stop number five. Instead of stop number five, go to stop number six. And then that's, yeah, that's a little bit more efficient there. So those are connected in here. We've got the gondola line. It's going to be bringing back stuff for that. Um, and then we've got the interlink connections to bring that coal and ore where it's needed. So hopefully we'll actually get this percentage up. Where is it going currently? There. Hopefully this won't cause an issue, but you never know. Because there's um, a literal entire line going around the map here, um, it may cause a little bit of problem when they just want to go one stop. Um, that being said, they're literally going into here, so they should be able to go there without an issue. So I'm completely um, worrying for nothing. So, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Um, hopefully, this is all starting to take shape. We've got Burglar Marsh pretty much all sewn up now. Um, and I'm really happy with how things are going. We've got some really interesting stuff happening between Alfred and Burglar Marsh now. Um, hopefully, you're enjoying uh, this series. Um, if you are, then consider um, subscribing we've got more content coming out as time goes through goes on um, one thing I will say is uh, if you've let me know what what you think of this uh, episode please with your thumbs and if your thumbs don't quite cut it then uh, let me know with a comment just because it's always nice to hear a bit of feedback on um, you know what you think of what's happening in the in the series so yeah i'm gonna leave it here thank you so much for watching and until next time have a good one. bye bye